I'm learning Japanese. I think I'm learning Japanese. I really think so. Welcome to Sashimi Street. Today we have a special show about haiku. Haiku is a Japanese style of poetry, and it is the shortest style of poetry in the world. It has 17 syllables, and when written in English, it is common for it to have three lines. Haiku was originally the starting verse of Renga, link verse poetry, where two or more poets take turns composing sections of Tanka, which have syllable patterns similar to the haiku but with two additional syllable sets. Five seven five seven seven. You can imagine it like a rap battle. This is a famous 15th century lenga called Three Poets at Minase by Sogi and two other poets, Shohaku and Socho. As the snow abides, haze rests at the mountain here in evening tide. Far away, water flows down from that plum scented town. A breeze from a stream, a copse of willows, and I see springs gleam. Boatmen are punting away. We hear them on this new day. Still, the moon's roaming. Passing through the misty night, darkness combing. So soon, a frost coated field, fading autumn will soon yield. Bugs cry like zither without a care in the world as the grass withers. If at the fence you stop by, you'll see the path is clear and dry. Lost deep in the hills. Perhaps the hamlet suffers from storms, windy chills. For those who are not used to life, loneliness cuts like a knife at this late hour. You mustn't dwell on being alone on thoughts so sour. You don't know this already. Everything changes, nothing steady. The starting verse to Renga was called Hoku, and it set the tone for the following verses, and often combined contrarying imageries to stump the poet that had to follow. Hoku evolved into its own form of poetry. As people began to appreciate the profoundness created in the juxtapositioning of images in the short poem, Basho is the most famous haiku poet. However, there are other poets who also contributed to the development of this style of poetry. We will explore how hoku developed into its own art form and renamed haiku. By focusing on four poets through two periods, Tokugawa period and Meiji period. Tokugawa period. Three warriors unite the separate domains. To limit the leader's connection with their domains, the leaders are forced to journey to the capital every year, and their first sons and main wives are forced to reside in the capital. The nation closes its doors to foreign contact. Tokugawa period was one of the most stable and peaceful era in Japanese history. Early in the period, Basho, a son of a samurai, gained recognition for his mastery of hoku. During the period, 
Lords were required to travel from their domains to visit the capital periodically. This created a system of roads and improved traveling throughout the country. Basho got his inspiration from his travels, and he is best known for the poems he wrote on the road. He starts his famous travelogue with this poem that describes selling his home that he lived alone in to a family with a daughter. Kusano tomo sumikawa ruzo yo hina no ie. A owner of the old thatched hut is also changed to another. It's the doll's festival. Busong was a poet and a painter, and he traveled to various parts of Japan following in the footsteps of Basho, who he idolized. Natsukawa o kosu ureshisa yo tenizori, the summer river. It's happy to walk across it, my hands with Zori sandal. Issa was a poet and a lay Buddhist priest. He is known for his untraditional and mocking humor. He wrote many poems about unorthodox creatures. He wrote 54 poems about snails. Katatsumuri, Soro Soro Nobore, Fuji no Yama. Oh, Snail, climb Mount Fuji, but slowly, slowly. Meiji period brought change to Japan as it opened to the outside world. Meiji period. Black ships appear on the coast demanding the country to be opened. The forces outside and the conflicts inside drive the nation to move on to a new age. Swords are banned and the class system is abolished. Everyone becomes a commoner. People quickly pick up the Western trends. Many disregarded traditions for new customs and ideas entering from the West. In literary circles, the short style of poetry, which was popular among the masses, seemed like a relic from the past. It was Shiki who advocated for the style of poetry and renamed it haiku. He was critical of the old fashioned ways that stretched the imagination with puns and fantasies. And he was for realism entering from the West that made unfiltered observations of the world. He played baseball as a teenager and wrote poetry about the new sport that was gaining popularity in the country. Natsukusa ya Baseballu no Hito Toshi. Summer grass. Baseball players far off in the distance. Today, haiku is a style of poetry with 17 syllables organized in three syllable sets of five syllables, seven syllables, and five syllables. When written in English, each syllable set is given a separate line. However, haiku written in Japanese is written in one line. This may be because in Japanese, Syllables are more pronounced and easier to identify. In Japanese, most syllables are open, meaning that they end with a vowel sound, and each syllable is said at the same speed. Syllables play a visible role in Japanese. The two Japanese alphabets, hiragana and katakana, are also known as syllabaries because each letter represents a syllable sound. This is the 46 letters in hiragana. Notice that the letters are organized in a table. The first column on the right are letters of the five vowel sounds. A, I, U, A, O, 
and the following columns are letters starting with different consonant sounds, but with the same five vowel sounds. Kakikukeko, Sashisuseso, Tachitsuteto, Nani Nuneno, Hahifuheho, Mami Mumemo, Yayuyo, Lari Lurelo, Wa Wo, Un. With the five seven five syllable sets, traditional haiku also have a cutting word, kireji, and a seasonal reference, kigo. Kireji are added to the end of a syllable set for emphasis. They probably originated from the collaboration poems of Lenga, where the kireji made it seem more conversational. In haiku, it can show heightened emotions. And add to the profoundness. Kireji do not exist in English. However, in translations, kireji are often replaced with punctuations. You can use exclamation points to express excitement, dashes to connect two concepts or ideas, ellipses dot 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 to leave the thought open ended, and question marks to indicate wonder. Kigo are words and phrases that allude to a particular season. Listen to the following haiku by the masters, and for each poem, try to find the seasonal words and figure out which season the poem is about. Furuike ya kawazu tobikomu mizu no oto, the old pond, a frog leaps in, sound of the water. Shizukesa ya iwa ni shimi iru semi no koe. Oh, tranquility, penetrating the very rock, a cicada's voice. Nano hana ya tsuki wa higashi ni hiwa ni shini. The canola flowers, the moon in the east, the sun in the west. Senko ya. Masuho no Suzuki ni sanbon. The incense sticks, the reddish soil color pampas grasses, a few of the pieces. Suzume no ko, soko no ke, soko no ke, o uma ga toru. The baby sparrows, make way, make way, the horse is going to pass along. Uma so na. Yuki ga fuwari, fuwari to. It looks appetizing. The snow softly and gently. Hira hira to, kaze ni nagarete cho hitotsu. Flutteringly, floating in the breeze, a single butterfly. Natsu no tsuki, cho jin ooki chimata kana. The summer moon. There are a lot of paper lanterns on the street. When writing a haiku in English, it is important to understand that it will be different from a haiku in Japanese. A haiku in English is usually written in three lines, one for each of the five seven five syllable sets, whereas a haiku in Japanese is written in one line. Syllables in Japanese are more noticeable, so the poems strictly follow the syllable patterns. However, in English, the syllables are less obvious, so the syllable patterns are more of a guideline. Also, kireji or cutting word, one of the three requirements for a haiku in Japanese, does not exist in the English language. Punctuations can be a substitute for kireji. But it is not the same. I believe that at the core of a haiku, there is a focus on a particular season, and there is the use of vivid, often contrasting imageries that leave the reader with a sense of profoundness and wonderment. This should be the focus when writing a haiku in English. Even the name haiku is pronounced differently. In Japanese. It is pronounced with three syllables, haiku, and in English, 
It is pronounced with two syllables, haiku.